what's up guys so today I'm starting a new project um, this one this doesn't belong to us uh, me or Alan it's a kid who I met on offer up he was buying parts for me and then asked if I could do his conversion on this so let me give you guys a little walk around this is a hard top very rare nice and it's this uh, greenish blue color that I really like um, the car is in pretty good shape all the way around um, little dings here and there but nothing too bad I think this fender on this side has the worst of it is right here but that's nothing we can just get out later and then the biggest problem with this car and why it's here is this bad boy and that bad boy down there that big ass brake pedal and it's an automatic but other than that um interior is clean power windows power mirrors um hard top like i said and right now i'm getting started on breaking this car down and then waiting for parts um the kid is dropping off a master cylinder and a slave cylinder right now so i can get that trans on and then we'll be waiting on the clutch and the flywheel which i have at a friend's house i need to pick that up but uh the clutch should take about like a week or two to get here and then um i'm waiting on another friend for um the two hard lines that go from the master cylinder down down the car and then connect all the way back towards the um, slave cylinder so as of right now i'm just gonna leave the car halfways or as best as i can do it for now and then uh keep updating and keep it going so it's gonna be a, a few days or maybe like a two week project uh, before this car can uh head off as a uh, manual swapped 5s so i'll keep updating all right guys so right now Alan's here um, Andrew just left you guys didn't get to see his car but we got the trans out there it is oh crap hey can you get a light over here to shine your phone oh you can't still oh get that light yeah There it is, no more trans. It's out of there. And then um, the transmission the transmission is sitting down over here. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see that. It's right here. And um, we're just gonna throw that in the trash tomorrow when uh, this uh, metal guy comes by. So um, that's gonna be it for right now. I'll pick the video back up tomorrow morning when I start to take off, uh, start cleaning up the engine bay because there's a lot of things that need to need to happen there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So it's a few days later and um, I was prepping the car earlier on on the week before I had to go to work. So I got the clutch on, the flywheel on and then um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I did that off camera. And then right now I'm gonna start deleting that uh, cruise control and getting that wire routed all the throttle cable on this side so that um, I can just mount the trans, the axles, the cross member. And then I did the um, clutch line, the hard line all the way through. I need to do the pedals. I already did the, the um, master cylinder and then the slave is already mounted onto the trans so that's ready to go as soon as the trans gets on there um all i have to do is pretty much the pedals bleed the clutch and then this car should be up and running again so um probably mount the camera up do a time lapse and then i'll see you guys in a bit
Alright guys, so I cleaned up that side of the um, the engine bay, got rid of that cruise control and then a couple of other brackets that I've gotten rid of in the past, um, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And then right now I'm on the left hand side, the driver's side of the vehicle. And um, right now, this was the one of the parts where I kind of got stuck on doing, when I was doing my, uh, my brother's conversion. From automatic to manual so what needs to happen is this was already cut I'm pretty sure this is for the transmission um, so that was already cut and then um, all of this this bundle here these three wires uh, I believe this is the ground this is uh, probably like uh, the relay the lead and then these are the connections for the O2 sensor um for this is for the um the starter so this is for the auto sensor the starter and then the ground for the starter um and then this whole bundle here this is for the trans on one side and then this is for the automatic trans on the other side so if that um that neutral safety switch that isn't going to be on the pedal on this and on this car is the neutral safety switch is here it ends up being these two top of uh, big wires so what happens is um it just bypasses current here when you put the car on drive uh, these are the components for the drive the park uh, first second I'm not sure if it comes with third and then um, the low whatever um, these are all the the functions here so whatever it gets set on that's where the light turns on on the actual on the dash so when you flip those around then you see all the lights light up individually when um, you make a selection so what needs to happen here and I've I've googled it before in the past where um I googled it for a while so um, when looking for that I, I found one video but it was like a 30 second video and he just so shows the harness and he says it's already cut and he's like you just put these two wires together and then that video ends but he's he's not very um informative of what actually needs to happen beforehand and what kire, what wires you need to splice to actually put together cuz if you see the back of this here it's a pretty big bundle there's at least there's 2 4 6 8 there's 9 wires cables going into this clip alone so right now I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna mount the camera and I'm gonna show you exactly how I pull back all the way back here back on this side and then uh, what I cut first what I put together and then what I leave open so that the car starts all right guys so here we go again this is the ground for the starter the power for the starter from the relay and then this is for the o2 sensor on the bottom end on your um on the catalytic converter that's connected to the actual headers so and then this is for the trans that's already been cut sorry i can't show that but the three wires you should be able to see them one of them is brown one is white and black and the other one is purple so those you can just cut off And sorry if you can't hear me all that well, I'm, I'm pretty far from the camera, but I'll try and subtitle as much as I can. Um, so here we go, I'm cutting the tape off on this. There you go, that's the tape off of that side. Let me just keep going.
All right, and then here is that the three harnesses. So there's these three that need to stay together, and then here is everything else that needs to be spliced. And again, it's only just gonna be two wires. I'm just saying that because um, these are just gonna be cut back and we're gonna leave them open. And hopefully in the future it doesn't cause any problems, but it'll just end up being lights being turned on on the dash, on the cluster, so. There you go, and then here you can see a little bit better. If I can get this off. There you go. So the three wires that had, were already cut, I'm just going to cut back. Sorry for that. I'm just going to cut back again. There you go. And then... There you go. Um, so then here... The, so that's the that's the plug-in so the pigtail that goes into the um, neutral safety switch where you select and these are the two wires at the very top it's a red solid red there's no lines and a solid black there's no lines there's no writing nothing so you take these two Just cut those two off. And then what I like to do is cut them back far enough so they're not visible anymore. So with those two not being visible anymore, you're gonna splice these two back. Again, it's the red and the black. So splice them back. There you go. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, um, I like to solder all my wires. So just for the purpose of this video, I will not be because I still need to set up my soldering utensil, but here goes, those are the two wires. I'm just gonna tie those two together. Right there. And then, so that I know those are the two that I need to keep together at all times. And then I'm gonna grab the rest of this bundle of wires. And I'm just gonna start snipping away, one by one. And there you go. And that's the pigtail. So then after that, you put all of those together. And there you go. And your car should crank over um, without these two cables being tied together. The the car will not crank over. It's like you're not stepping on the clutch. So I'm just gonna um, cut to the car starting later on, and then um, yeah, that'll be it. So we got the car running, the transmission on. The only thing we need to do is actually go test drive the car, but that won't happen until I guess the owner shows up. Cause, uh, we're having a problem right now where it wasn't idling but now we got it idling and let me see if I can get the throttle to go up again a little bit all right so that wasn't happening like what two minutes ago yeah so me and Alan were test shooting whatever's the um, the problem 
and uh, he thought it was a battery. I didn't think it was a battery, but we jump started it, and then now it's it's fixed. So um, we still need to do that ground, and then the ground at the battery because it was smoking the other day. So I just want to replace them before this kid takes his uh, his car home, and then. Uh, that ground is super ghetto. I took it from another harness that I had. I just got it, put it on there because I don't know where I left the original ground. I'm pretty sure it was on the transmission that left. So, um, yeah. Um, I guess that's the end for this video. And then I'll show you guys the car later on another video when we start uh, the next project. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. So on the last clip I left it um, I hadn't thrown the body kit on yet But that's the body kit It's been on for a few days Corner lights don't fit perfectly It rides really really low And it scrapes everything But Stan's boy over there That's the way he wants his car So that's the way it's going to be um, The car is done And he's been driving it for about what, what, Two weeks? A week? A week and a half? Yeah. Alright so He's been driving it for about a week and a half and the car r runs and drives perfectly fine mm -hmm. except for the overheating problem that he was having yeah. but that was because uh, i dropped a lot of coolant and then um i had to replace one of the hoses one of the uh, steel lines that goes in the rear uh firewall so that's done and the car runs and drives just fine you, you daily it right yeah you daily it cool and it's yeah LA so and back, huh L la and back so um, I guess that's the end of this video and then um, next project, whatever comes next, you guys will see. Peace. Peace. No, fuck no, <laughs> <not> that. <laughs>